Welcome back to Midnight Tutor. We've got a problem here and this comes to us from the 2002 AP exam for AB and it's the free response portion. This portion allows us to use a calculator and we're going to take advantage of that here. What we've got is a problem where we're asked to find areas and volumes and specifically volumes by two different methods. One is revolving about the x-axis and the other is using a different technique and we'll explore that technique when we get to part C. So we're given two curves. We've got in black our x and y axes and then in blue we've got a curve y equals 4 minus 2x. That's a negatively sloped line and it looks something like this. We've got a second curve y equals x cubed divided by 1 plus x squared and that looks something like a parabolic shape here and those two curves form a uh, region, R. That region is an area the two curves intersect at point A and our first task is to find the area of this region R and that is the region bounded by the y-axis on the left hand side, on the lower side this red curve and on the top side the blue curve. So let's take a look at how we would find the region, the area of region R. So the first item here is A, I'm looking for the area R. Well, I can find that by finding the area under the blue curve and then subtracting from that the area under the red curve. And that's what I've done right here. I'm integrating from y or x equals 0 out to x equals a, and x equals a is the intersection point. So I'm going to integrate from 0 to a, and I'm going to take the blue curve, the integral of 4 minus 2x dx, and I'm going to subtract from that total quantity the area under the red curve, and that's the integral from 0 to 4 of x cubed divided by 1 plus x squared dx. Now I'm not going to go ahead and crank through this, these numbers. We're allowed to use a calculator, and so I've got a calculator right here. This happens to be a Texas Instruments 83 plus, and this calculator has two features that will be very handy in solving this problem. The first feature is the solve button. What the solve button allows us to do is input two functions and then solve for where those two functions are equal. And so in this case, that happens to be A. Now if we go through and calculate that, I believe A is on the order of 1.30068 or something of that nature. But we can use the calculator that we're told on this AP exam we're allowed to, use the solve button, and we can find point A. The next thing we can do is use the FNINT function function integrate. And this will allow us to find these integrals knowing the definite integral. So we're going from 0 to the value of a, call it 1.3, integrating this function and integrating that function. We'll do the subtraction of the two areas and we'll determine what area r is numerically. Okay. The second part of this question asked us to find the volume of region r if it were revolved about the x-axis, so this is into the board. So we're going to revolve r about the x-axis, and I've created a diagram here. This looks something like a washer, and I hope you're able to follow along. I'm looking at one increment along the x-axis, and I want to take one increment and look at that as a revolved volume. So if I have my blue curve as my outer radius, let's call it, so that's r outer, or r o, I've got this prescribed, and then I'm going to subtract, once again, just like in this problem, I'm going to subtract the inter volume, and that's ri, or r inner. So if I have my outer radius and my inner radius, this looks something like a washer. And that gives me an area, so my area is r, r o squared minus r i squared, and then to get a volume I need to multiply by some length, the length will be dx, and so my volume formula, volume is equal to the integral of pi times a radius times dx, because area is pi r squared, and to get volume I need to multiply by a distance. So we can think of this whole term as just a single radius, and it's the outer radius minus the inner radius. Okay. Now I need to define those terms, and so I want to do that right here. My outer radius is my blue curve, as we saw over here on the left-hand side. So my outer radius function is 4 minus 2x. My inner radius 
is the red curve, and that's x cubed minus 1 plus x squared. So I substitute for r, r outer and r inner in this formula, and I get the following. The volume integrated between 0 and a of pi times 4 minus 2x quantity squared minus x cubed divided by 1 plus x squared quantity squared, and all of that times dx. If I were to evaluate this integral, I would get a numerical answer for the volume. And this we would do once again using that calculator, the Texas Instruments TI-83, which is allowed on our AP exam. In the next segment, we're going to explore Part C, but we need to make room for that, so we'll just postpone for a second, and we'll come back with Part C. Okay, so now let's solve Part C of this interesting problem. What we're asked to find, we're given this region R, which is bounded by this line and this curve and the y-axis. It's uh, sort of triangular in shape. And we're instructed that it's the base of a solid. And each cross-section in the solid perpendicular to the x-axis, each cross-section that's coming out of the board like this, is a square. right? And what do we know about a square? Well, both the base and the height are equal. And then it says, find the volume of this square. So what I've done is we've, we've drawn this again, and we sort of inscribed a bunch of little squares, at least the bases of the squares, inside this curve. And we did a, tried to make a little cartoon here of what it looks like. So it's sort of a, uh, it has a square cross section, but then it kind of comes to a point because these functions ultimately intersect at some point. And we renamed the point here Q. So we don't confuse A for area with A for something else. So here now I've taken one of these square cross sections and I've displayed it in sort of a plan view. Each side has a length of L, it has a width of DX. And so obviously the length L here is going to be the distance between this function and that function, which is just our good friend 4 minus 2X minus X cubed over 1 plus X squared. It's a square so they're both the same. So the height is that same value. The area of a square is the side L squared. Hence, the volume of this little piece is going to be that area L squared times dx. So L squared dx. And then the volume, we just integrate from 0 to point Q, which we find numerically using the calculator. And it's this monster here. 0 to Q of 4 minus 2x minus x cubed over 1 plus x squared. That whole quantity squared dx. Now, you could never well, perhaps in a million years you could solve this algebraically, but it might take you that long. But using a calculator, it's a layup to solve this. On the AP test, the scoring is done in, in increments. Setting up the problem gives you most of the credit, but actually getting out the calculator and coming up with a numerical answer will give you additional points. So I highly recommend that when you get done setting it up, get out the calculator. It's a little bit tedious to type the whole thing in, but it'll be in your best interest to do so. Okay, if you have more questions, please send them to solveitmidnighttutor.com.